Zambona presents the new Department for Production of Lyophilized Drugs, a world first in terms of technology, quality, and efficiency. Many drugs, especially those of a biological origin in an aqueous solution, are unstable. Therefore, in order to extend their storage period, it is necessary to resort to the lyophilization process. Lyophilization is a technological process which enables the total elimination of water from the drugs, which are first reduced to dehydrated powder, and then by means of the addition of a predefined quantity of water, resume the therapeutic characteristics they had before the treatment. At this point, you can observe the preparation phase of the solution. The dissolution takes place in a stainless steel receptacle equipped with a thermostatic system to control the temperature and an agitation system to guarantee the homogeneity of the solution. The production operators start by gradually adding the raw materials, the excipients, and the quantity of water for injectables according to the planned production formula. The process is controlled automatically by a control and supervision system. The materials required for the lyophilization process are washed and sterilized in dedicated machinery. The bottles received from the warehouse are fed into the bottle washing machine by an operator, undergo a washing cycle with water for injectables at 85 degrees Celsius, and then dried with sterile filtered air. The caps and equipment necessary for the production, such as machine parts, sterile overalls, glasses, etc., undergo a sterilization cycle with pure vapor at 121 degrees Celsius in an autoclave installed in a dedicated area. Any materials which are not sterilizable at 121 degrees Celsius are sanitized with chemical agents such as hydrogen peroxide in another machine called a pass box where they undergo a sanitization cycle before being transferred inside the clean room. Once washed and dried, the bottles are fed automatically into the sterilization tunnel where they reach a temperature of at least 300 degrees Celsius for the time needed to guarantee their sterilization. In the last section of the tunnel, Filtered cold air is introduced to cool the bottles before their arrival in the clean room. This is one of the most critical stages of the production. As we can see, the filling machine is protected by a steel and glass structure which guarantees a continuous flow of sterile air to avoid microbiological contamination. The solution is taken automatically from the tank in the preparation room through a transfer line equipped with sterilizing filters. The bottles coming out of the sterilization tunnel are filled with a quantity of previously prepared solution through a series of needles. During the process, the weight of the solution is controlled continuously by means of an automatic weighing system. The capping station is placed at the rear of the filling machine. The operator loads the sterilized caps onto the hopper of the bottle capper. The caps are fitted with a side opening to enable the evaporation of the water during the lyophilization. This is why the caps are positioned on the bottle without being completely inserted. The machine checks the correct insertion by means of an optical sensor. The capped bottles are sent to the lyophilizer through an automatic loading system, protected by a continuous flow of sterile air to avoid microbiological contamination. 
The automatic loading system positions the bottles on the shelf of the lyophilizer. Having completed the loading of a shelf inside the lyophilizer, the shelf itself is raised upwards and an empty shelf is presented, ready for automatic loading. Once the lyophilizer is loaded and closed, we are able to start the lyophilization process. After the cycle is completed, inside the lyophilizer, the shelves are lowered one by one to perform the capping operation, known as stoppering, which consists in lowering the cap completely inside the neck of the bottle. As we can see, Apart from the lyophilization chamber, a lyophilizer is also composed of a vacuum pump system to reach the high vacuum necessary for the drying, and a condenser connected to the chamber through a valve in which the water that evaporates during the lyophilization is collected. There is a hot fluid circulation system for cooling and connecting all the necessary services, nitrogen, water, vapor. A control system manages automatically both the lyophilization cycle and the washing and sterilization operations of the lyophilizer. The control system is connected to a supervision system managed by an operator. The lyophilization process takes place in the following phases. Freezing. The product is frozen by reducing the temperature of the shelves thanks to a sophisticated cooling unit linked to it. Primary drying. The pressure is reduced and the temperature of the shelves increased. Secondary drying. The pressure of the chamber is reduced and the temperature of the shelves increased. A 15 meter cube stainless steel tank collects the water for the injectables required for production of the lyophilizates. The water is then maintained at a temperature of 85 degrees Celsius and recirculated continuously in order to avoid the growth of microorganisms. Lastly, the water is monitored continuously and analyzed chemically and biologically. The lyophilization cycle may typically last from 24 to 48 hours. At the end of the lyophilization, the bottles contain the characteristic lyophilized powder inside the bottle. The capped bottles are subsequently unloaded onto the transportation belt, which takes them to the ring sealing machine. The ring sealing operation is started by the operator through a supervised control panel. The aluminium rings are inserted in this machine and positioned automatically on the capped bottles. The machine then seals the aluminium rings with a certain amount of pressure in order to guarantee the integrity of the closure. A computerized optical system verifies the correct closure and, if need be, eliminates the defective bottles. From the ring sealing machine, the bottles are collected on trays and positioned on trolleys before being sent to the inspection and packaging phase. After all the materials have been obtained, bottles and or vials, cases, labels, cartons, illustrated sheets, the operator starts the packaging process. In this phase, we see the packaging of vials of fluimacil. The vials are loaded onto the packaging line. They are then inserted in the plastic boxes.
The boxes are cut to fit the shape of the case. The illustrated leaflets containing the instructions for use are loaded into the machine, which folds them and inserts them in the cases, together with the boxes. The cases are labeled. And they are stacked up and inserted into a carton ready for shipment. The cartons are received flat from the warehouse and opened and sealed by the boxing machine. The finished cartons are sent to the warehouse. Before shipping the finished product, the quality control and quality assurance must release the package batch by verifying the certificates of analysis of all the components produced and used and checking the production records. Once released, the batch is finally ready to be loaded onto an appropriate truck and shipped to the client.